Namaste and hello, this is your Sanskrit instructor welcoming you back into lesson number 224. We will be continuing in this lesson on forming, transforming words into the feminine formation. And in this video, we will see that some nouns and adjectives ending in a follow special rules in forming their feminine. For example, nouns and adjectives ending in ka form their feminine in a ka. For example, balak is boy, but balika is girl. Gayak, gayaka. So that's balaka, and balika is girl. Then you have gayaka. Gayaka is a male singer. Gayika is female singer. So notice how the ika is what is turning it feminine when you're adding it to a noun or adjective ending in a, ka. Then the next condition is that the following adjectives ending in a can form their feminine in long e. Gora, for example, is an adjective to describe a masculine noun that is white. But if you would like to describe a noun that is feminine as the color white, you would want to add the long e to the end. So you you start from gora and then for feminine you end up with gori. When you are describing an adolescent that is masculine, you would want to use kishora, but something that is feminine, you or a person a, a person in the feminine gender, like a girl, if you would like to call her an adolescent, you would say kishori. For youthful, a youthful boy, you would want to say teruna, but a youthful girl, you would want to describe her as teruni with a long E. Same thing for the word similar. Sadrish versus sadrish, sadrishi. Tadrish, tadrisha is such. And then for feminine, it would be tadrishi. And same thing for similar, you have sadrisha versus sadrishi. Now we have nouns ending in a uh, and denoting a class or a species form in their feminine, form their feminine in long e. So for example, for example, sinha means lion and sinhi means lioness. Viagra is tiger and Vyagri is tigress. Harina is deer. Harini is female deer. Hansa is male swan and Hansi is female swan. Mayura is peacock versus mayuri is peahen. Some exceptions would be the following. So kokila is a male cuckoo, but a kokila is a female cuckoo. Ashwa is a 
male horse, but ashwa is a female horse. Aja is a male goat, but aja with a long a is a female goat. Mushika is a male rat, but mushika is a female rat. Balaka is a flamingo, but balaka is a female flamingo. And chartaka, chartaka is a sparrow, but chartaka is female sparrow. So those are exceptions for species. Then moving on. Adjectives ending with the suffixes Maya and Tana form their feminine in long E. So Mrin Maya would become Mrin Mai, which means they both mean earthly, but one is masculine and one is feminine. Same thing for the word spiritual. Chin Maya is masculine, Chin Mai is feminine. And then we have Puratana is masculine, and then Puratani is feminine for the word ancient. So these are the terms and conditions for nouns and adjectives that end in a that need to take their feminine form. And with that, this is your Sanskrit instructor signing off with a namaste.